business growth in the city of Philadelphia. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Philadelphia City Councilman at Large, Derek Green. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Jill. Uh, when we talk about business, there mm -hmm. was a recent hearing uh, related to Amazon and the potential of an Amazon headquarters coming to mm -hmm. Philadelphia. What was the idea behind the hearing? It was a recap, essentially. Well, it was a recap. And also, we had this hearing in the committee to hold, which means all members of the city council participated. And so I introduced the resolution really to kind of capture some of the essence and the, the uh, movement and momentum that we had in putting together this proposal. Uh, so the city of Philadelphia, working with a number of other partners, both in the public and private sector, took six weeks to come up with a proposal to compete against cities all across the nation and trying to bring the second Amazon headquarters to Philadelphia. And with that, we're talking a large company, uh, Amazon, but mm -hmm. you're also looking at small companies, small businesses mm -hmm. here in the city of Philadelphia, looking at best practices mm -hmm. for business attraction and retention. Absolutely. And one of the things that came out of the proposal is that we came up with a hashtag, Philadelphia Delivers. And so we're trying to use it. How do we brand the city of Philadelphia to small businesses that want to grow in our city, but also other businesses from outside our region and why we should attract them to our city and also retain them in Philadelphia? And there is a hashtag, as you mentioned, but there's also a website related to this concept and this idea of Philadelphia Delivers. Absolutely. So it's public.philadelphiadelivers.com, and it really shows all of the work that went into the proposal to try to attract the Amazon second headquarters to Philadelphia. So there's the ideas behind this proposal, but how are these ideas now being turned into action when it comes to attracting businesses? Well, one of the things that came out of that hearing is that we need to do a better job of branding Philadelphia, not only to the people that live here, but also people who maybe think about coming to Philadelphia. So one of the outcomes of this hearing and also this work was having all the different organizations that tried to attract businesses to work more collaboratively together and meet on a regular basis and how we can share resources, ideas, and have one single branding theme for the city of Philadelphia for businesses to come. So it's branding, that's a component of it, and working collaboratively, that's another component. But you have also been working on regulatory reform mm -hmm. and review. Where does that stand? What are some of the ideas that you're working mm -hmm. to address? So I was fortunate to become the co-chair of a special committee on regulatory reform and review. The two other co-chairs are the president and CEO of the Greater Philadelphia Chamber of Commerce, uh, Rob Wonderling, and our commerce director, Harold Epps. And so what we've been doing is reaching out to small businesses. We have have a very diverse uh, special committee made up of small business owners, institutional leaders, and others, and really talking about what can we do as a city to address some of the challenges we have for small businesses, looking at how we can take some of the regulations and rules and laws out of our Philadelphia code, and also how we can work more collaboratively to attract businesses and keep them in our city. And that's a big component of it. It's business attraction, but it's also the retention idea. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Philadelphia, we are in the attraction and retention business. We not only need to retain citizens in our city, but also retain small businesses and large businesses as well, and also attract people to our city, both who want to live here, as well as small and large businesses that want to grow in our city as well. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. We've been talking with Philadelphia City Councilman at Large, Derek S. Green. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.